Welcome to Camp Washington, the home edition. I'm Michael Brown, and this is Volleyball Skills. So a quick introduction about me. I'm a graduating senior at Shelton High School. I played for my varsity team for four years, Will Gales, if you know anything about Shelton. Um, and I just really enjoy volleyball. In my opinion, it's the best sport. I've had great teammates, great times playing. I think you all will enjoy it as well. So without further ado, we're gonna start with the forearm pass. So this, also known as the bump, is when you do that and you pass the ball with your arms. So in order to do that, what do you wanna do? Arms out, kinda of nice and wide, a little bit further than shoulders width apart. Feet, shoulders width apart, kinda of like you're going for a golf swing or playing any sport, baseball, I know it does the same thing. You're gonna be bending at your knees, about say 20, 25 degrees, not too much. You don't wanna be like a squat. You wanna be nice and wide and defensive, like you're shuffling in basketball. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna have your arms out, nice and straight, and you're gonna put them together, like, you have, like you're getting communion. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna be pointing your thumbs like that, straight forward, and somewhat down, so that you have a nice platform just above your wrist. And this area is known as the forearm. That's why it's called the forearm pass. So what you're all are gonna do is you're gonna be pushing through with your legs and get a nice controlled pass to yourself or pass in general. So what that's going to look like in the final form is this. Nice and controlled. So I'm gonna give you guys, you people, a slow motion demo. And yeah, try it. If you need a rewind, that's perfectly fine. It took me a couple years to understand how to even pass the ball, so don't worry about it. Great job. Everyone did it perfectly. So now we're going to step it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is you're going to take the same pass that we just did together and we're going to try to do that 10 times in a row without the ball dropping. Seems kind of hard, right? Took me a couple of years. So just nice and controlled, eyes on the ball, and you're going to try to do that 10 times in a row without the ball dropping. So challenge yourself, maybe a friend, family member, see who can do the most. If 10's too little or too much, set your own number. Um, have fun with this, that's the whole point of it. So yeah. Hey, great job, y'all. So the next goal we're going to work on is the set. So to set the ball properly, you want to have good hand form. So now you're going to do that. Hands like this on your hips. You're going to push down. Kind of like you're mad at somebody and you want to stare them down or something. So when you push down, you're going to take your hands off. And this little triangle thing is the basic form on how to set a volleyball. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna find a spot on, the, on your ball and you're gonna put your little triangle on it. That's gonna be like your home base. You always want to try to hit the ball with your triangle in that same spot. So to actually set the ball, you have your knees slightly bent, your hands nice and high above your head, like so and you're gonna push through. So you see what I'm doing, I'm pushing through. So that's going to end up looking like this. So 
So I'm gonna give everybody a nice slow motion demo. You can try it if you need a rewind or anything, that's perfectly fine. Again, like I said, took me a few times to get it. So yeah. Hey, amazing everybody. So now, time for another little challenge. So you can do this either to yourself or against a nice wall or something that your parents don't mind having a ball go against. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to set to yourself 10 times in a row. So you can either do it to yourself like I just did or you can find a nice sturdy wall, nothing breakable, and you're gonna go against the wall. Like, and it's gonna come back and you're gonna set it against the wall. So let's try that together right now. Ready? Great job, everybody. All right, campers, if you want an extra challenge, I got one for you. So this is gonna combine both the forearm pass and the set, and what's called a self pepper. So you're gonna forearm pass to yourself, and then set to yourself in alternating fashion. So it's gonna go forearm pass, set, forearm pass, set. So you're gonna get nice and low, like you're gumming yourself a pass, and then you're going to set to yourself, and then pass, and then set, pass, and set, and so on. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult, it may take everybody a little bit longer to do it. It's okay to rewind like always, it takes me a while to do it sometimes as you can see. Um, but yeah, have fun, try to do, I don't know, say 20 times, so 10 passes and 10 sets to yourself without the ball falling. See what you can do. Challenge a friend, family member, like I said before. Have fun. All right, Camp Washington. The next skill we're gonna learn in volleyball skills is how to serve. So in volleyball, there's typically two types of serves, the overhand or the underhand. So we're gonna start with the underhand. So what you're gonna do, have the ball out in front of you towards where you want it to go. For me, I have a net set up, so I'm looking at the net. You don't need a net, just a nice open area where you're not going to damage anything. Parents permission, probably a good thing here. Um, so yeah, we're going to look towards it, have the ball in front of you, you're going to make a fist with your dominant hand. So what you're going to do, see if you can see, my thumb's not out like that, my thumb's down. And what we're going to do, is we're going to aim square for the ball. So right underneath the ball is where I'm trying to hit with my fist. So, and that's going to fall through where I want the ball to go. So, ready? Great job. Now, you, it's your turn to try. So, rewind if you need. Uh, So we covered the underhand serve. So now it's time for the overhand serve. So the simplest way to do an overhand serve, and there's plenty of different variations. I'm sure you can look up on YouTube, other videos of professionals if you want to. So overhand serve, you're gonna toss the ball, and you're gonna hit. So 
You're going to be tossing it with your non-dominant hand just in front of the shoulder of your dominant hand. For me, it's my right hand because I'm a righty when I serve. So, and you're going to be leading with your left foot and you're going to fall through with your right. So just like throwing a baseball, you're going to fall through. So, and instead of throwing, we're going to be hitting. So the arm motion is going to be out and bent, almost kind of like you're throwing like a javelin or something. And then you're going to be up, step, and follow through. So you're going to have this kind of cool motion of like you're loading like a bow and arrow, step, and following through like you're throwing a ball. And right in front of your shoulder, your dominant shoulder that is, you're going to have the ball and you're going to be contacting it. So that's going to look like this. So, I'm going to give you guys, you people a slow motion demo. Uh, again, rewind. This is a little bit harder than the underhand serve, just because you have to toss the ball in a specific spot. And yeah. Alright campers, those of you who want a little bit of an extra challenge with serving, there's two main different types of overhand serving that I'm going to explain briefly. So first is the float. So what the float is, is you toss the ball nice and still in front of your shoulder and you contact it flat with your hand. So you go flat through. And what that does is it keeps the ball from spinning or having top spin as it goes over the net and it actually will move the ball side to side a little bit so your opponent has a harder time to pass the ball and thus a harder time for them to score. So what that's going to look like is this. So it's going to be the same format as the overhand serve I just explained and demoed. So I personally have a little bit of a routine. I bounce the ball on the ground a little bit, a little bit extra luck, give it a little spin like you do with a three free throw in basketball or something. And then I toss the ball in front of my shoulder and I contact through with a flat hand. So that's going to look like this. And this is the top spin serve. So what you do so with your non-dominant hand, when you toss the ball, you're going to give it some spin, like so. And when you hit the ball, you're going to follow through and really try to flick your wrist as you swing through the ball. Now what this does is it makes the ball come down harder on the other side of the net. It gives it top spin and it falls faster. And that makes it harder for your opponent to pass it and thus easier for you to score. So this is what it looks like. So, try it at home. Again, make sure you have some good space. You're not going to hurt anybody. You're not going to damage anything. Yeah, have fun. So now, it's time to learn how to hit. So what you're going to do is similar to the toss for a serve, you're going to toss to yourself in front of your in front of your hitting shoulder, your dominant shoulder, and you're going to swing through. So it's still going to look like you're throwing the javelin after you ready yourself for a bow and arrow. So it's going to go like that and swing down. So what that's going to look like is this. And you always want to keep the toss in front of you. That toss to me is too far behind. You also don't want to have your toss go to your sides because then you're going to have to chase the ball and you won't be set up properly in a swing. So, that's how you hit. Now, here comes the biggest challenge. 
See that board I have set up? I'm gonna, what's called self pepper with the wall. So first I'm gonna swing at the board and when the ball bounces back up to me, I'm gonna pass it to myself, set it to myself, and then swing again. So this is gonna be a little bit more difficult. So feel free to rewind and try it out. You don't have to. It's kind of difficult, so yeah. So you're going to want to keep doing that over and over. And it is kind of difficult. I'm not the best at it, but try your That's best. That's a wrap for Camp Washington, the home edition. Volleyball skills with me, Michael Brown. I hope you enjoy playing some volleyball, learn something maybe, but most importantly, I hope you all had fun. It's beautiful weather out here. Take advantage of this summer. I have my shades and my hat on. Let's have some fun in the sun this summer.